Hi guys, I'm Manny K. Soso, the robot with Zetometer Beers, and today we are building specific stack size. Let's get started. Alrighty, so what we're going to need is we're going to need uh, one stacker. We're going to need some shoots here. I've got 20. Uh, for my version, I'm going to just use 11 of these. I'm going to need some cables. I'm going to need at least two consoles. The third one is an optional one. One of them is going to be a hash display, so it's going to be just a regular console. The other required one will just be a small LED display, and the optional one will just be another small LED display. I'm going to need one IC housing with its IC chip. I'm going to need two dials and one button, so that way I can export it. Uh, and then for the rest, you know, to program it, I'll need the computer, the IC editor, and then some walls so I can put everything up. Alrighty, time to build it. Alrighty, so I'm going to start off with some walls here, just so I can put it in the right place. I'll put a wall there, a wall there, and put that down over there. I'll grab my stacker, and let's put it over here. I think I'm going to turn mine around to face the back. There we go. Turn on the power, because obviously I'm going to need that for later. Let's get some shoots. And I'm going to need a shoot bin right here. On this side, I'm going to get an outlet. And then let's connect up these shoots really quickly. I'll use Windows just so I can see. You don't need to use Windows if you don't want to, but that's what I'm going to use. And then hook this side up. Oh, come on, where's my corner? There's my corner. And then I just need one more for this. And I'm going to need one more corner. There we go. And let's see, let's go with the dials and the buttons so let's get you know dial one dial here one dial here and then let's put a button right here and then let's go ahead and do the consoles i might need to put another wall up yep i'm going to need to put two more walls up just so i can place them is that the right yep, that's fine and then whoop, that's not what I want, I want this. I'm going to have the one required LED display small. I will have my regular console, which I will go ahead and put the hash display in. And then I will have the third uh, LED display small. This one is optional, so don't feel forced to put this one in. So that is that. And I'll just put you know my IC housing down somewhere. Uh, let's put it right here. And let's get its little circuit board too. And I'll just put the computer down so that way it's available. Uh, let's put it right back here. Open it up. We'll put the IC editor in there. Turn it on. Turn this on too, and now it's time for some wiring. Oops, that's not the place I want to put that. So, time to get some cables, and let's wire this whole thing up. And obviously, wire this any way that you prefer. Um, as long as everything is connected together, you should be fine. Just come around here to the back. Make sure I have the four way there. Had it the first time. And I'll do a four way here since I'm going to need to come back around. And then we'll connect all these. Four way. Another four way. And then I'll have this one come down. And 
and then we'll come meet up with the rest. Alrighty, that's the wiring. And I'm just going to give myself an RTG for power, since this is just a tutorial. Alrighty, so we should see that on. And then let's finally finish up this last one and put some glass on it. Alrighty, so all of those are done. We'll just turn these on. This one's going to complain about, hey, I need something to look at for the hash display. And for that, I just need a data disk. And I missed the data disk. Come on. And let's see, we'll put it in. And since this is a hash display, we want it to go to the IC housing. So we'll click that. And obviously, it's not going to display anything at the moment. Uh, and that's just because there is nothing on the IC housing. It is currently off. So there's not going to be anything on the housing itself. So then we have this here. So let's go ahead and let's put the code on there. Oops, I do not have the code on there. And there we go, there's the code. Now we can make a change to this code if we want to. Here we have a multiple of 100 and a multiple of 10. And that's gonna to correlate to our two dials, our dial for 10 and dial for 100. So if for some reason you don't wanna go into the 100s, you could change this multiple 100 just to 10 and this multiple 10 just to one. And then you'll be limited to smaller stack sizes. But for this tutorial, I will leave it as this. I will confirm that. I will export it. So now it's on the housing. I'll let it air out really quick. So I have all these dials set. And let's get the labeler out because I'm going to want to label these things. And it doesn't like that. So I will just remove the walls really quickly. So that way I can label everything. And then we'll get the label back out. I will name this dial to my dial 100s. I will name this one to my dial 10s. The sash display I'll need to name. This required LED display is going to be the stack size and then this other optional display is going to display the current count and the button we can just leave this button because there's only one button i'll put these back on just for looks and then we'll go over here and let's set up our dials so this first one is going to be the stacker, which is obviously here. Uh, the next one is going to be our dial 10. The next one is going to be our dial 100. Then we're going to get our little button, which is going to force the stacker to export. And there's our button. And then this first display is going to be the display that is here, which is going to display the current stack size that we want. So we want the current count. Nope, is that right? Uh, let's see. It's going to be stack size. And then this display two is going to be that optional display of the current count. So we'll find the current count. Oop, there it was. And then I will take this out and then boom it is there so then now let's look at how it all works so currently there is nothing in there that's you can see this is displaying two different numbers at the moment and let's change this up to five open and won't let me do that on that one remove it real quickly and then i'll set this one up to 10. So then we can make this go all the way to 500. And you can see right now it is red. And the reason why it is red is because there, you know, we can't forcibly make that stack size. So then let's get some iron. And I will spawn in that iron. And let's see what it says now. So here we can see 
I'm setting the stack size to 500. I have iron that is currently in the stacker, and this is switching between two numbers. It's switching between the how much is currently in there, which is the 500 you see, and the number one, which is how much, how many stacks it's going to produce from this. So if I just hit the button now, you'll see it will export, and I will have a stack of 500. Obviously, I already had a stack of 500, and you can see now it went back to red saying that, hey, I can't do 500. So we'll put that back in, and let's try to do 400. You can see that now I have a green 500 and a yellow 2. So although I have 500 in there, the 2 is saying that I will give you the stack of at least 1 to where it will be 400, but the other stack is the remainder. So if I were to change this down to 300, it will still say 2, so I'm only still going to get a stack of 1. Oops, I want to go down. If I set it to 200, you can see that that yellow number 3 is there. So I'm going to have at least two stacks of that, and then one of them will not be full. But I will still be given 3. So if I go ahead and do that, you can see I get a stack of 2, a stack of 2, and then the remainder. So I can put this all back in. And just do this. And then I'll set it back to 500. I'll get my one and it will be green again. And I will export that. And you'll get the full 500 again. But let's do something like 400 again. So I'll get the 400. I'll get the 100. But let's see what happens now. So right now, I want a stack of 500. I have 100. And that yellow one is coming up and saying that, hey, I'm not going to have a full stack size. You'll be given one back, but you're only going to have, you know, a minimum. So I will only get whatever is in there. So you can see it will force eject it, and I will get that 100 back again. So then we can put it all back, put that stack back in there. We'll wait for it to calculate. Yep, there we go. Export it back out. And then we have our starting stack 500 again. After some polishing, this is what we have. We have specific stack size. You get your nice displays and everything, and it works all just fine. If you like this, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you next time.